Hey guys, Rivers here, and today I want to show you some must-have accessories for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. These accessories will also work for other phones as well, so keep watching here on Tech Connect. So here I've just unboxed the Galaxy S7 Edge, and I've actually spent a few hours testing it now, and I have to tell you, it's one hell of a phone. It's got really good battery life so far. The camera is amazing. You can see better in low light with the camera than you can with your naked eye. And I love the edge-to-edge -edge screen. You can see here it goes all the way to the edge of the phone thanks to the curved display, which is a little bit less curved than the previous model, so I like it a lot. Anyways, I want to show you some of the coolest accessories for this phone, and really you can use these with a lot of phones too. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first off, we're going to start off with something that you use every day with this phone, but you don't really think about very much. And this does not come with the phone, but what it is is actually a cable. Now this is not your ordinary cable. This is a micro USB cable that's reversible on both the micro USB side and the USB side. To me, half the reason I wanted USB Type-C was because the cable was reversible. I hate fumbling around with the cable in the dark when I'm already tired, plus it works fine with the S7's quick charge, so it's win-win. The cable also has a satisfying click when you plug it into the S7, which is nice compared to some of my loose USB cables. I also tested it with data transfer and it worked fine as well. Now these cables should work with any Android phone, but they're kind of hard to find right now, so I'll put a link to where you can get yours in the video description down below. Next up, you're going to want some protection for your Galaxy S7, but you don't want to ruin the sleek looks of it. And that's why I got this SpyGen soft case. It's completely transparent. Very clear, you can see everything on the phone right through it. Plus, it's nice and flexible, but makes it just a little bit stickier so it's harder to drop your phone. I've tested this case pretty thoroughly and it works great. It's got a raised bump around the camera to protect it when you set it on flat surfaces. Also, the buttons are easy to press through the case, and the holes on the bottom for the headphones and USB are nice and large, so the case won't block your cables. I love the way this case looks and performs, plus it only costs about 12 bucks. I'll add a link in the video description to this case for the S7 and S7 Edge. Once you have a case, you can install this cool invention called the Ring, or sometimes the iRing. The way the ring works is that you attach it to the back of your case or phone with this super sticky foam. I prefer to attach to a case so that you can switch cases whenever necessary. You can then fold out the ring from the back like a kickstand to prop up your phone to watch videos or play whatever kind of movie you want. I think you can tell I miss the good old days of the HTC Evo which had its own kickstand built into the phone. Number two, you can use the ring to assist you in one-handed operation by putting your finger through the ring hole. This is especially handy for people with smaller hands, so you don't risk dropping your expensive phone. And number three, the ring comes with this cool little attachment that lets you hang your phone on flat surfaces. I think this would be super handy while working in the kitchen so that you could watch a video or listen to a podcast while you're working. Or you could also use it in your car so that you have an easy to see display so that you can stream or play music, listen to a podcast, or bring your, up your phone's navigation. And now we come to a great accessory to help you make good quality videos. This is the Rode VideoMic Me. This shotgun mic is especially made for smartphones. You can see here that it easily clips right onto my Galaxy S7 Edge. So essentially what a shotgun mic does is it's a directional microphone, so it picks up audio really well in whatever direction that it's pointing. This helps to screen out background noise and also screen out sounds off in the distance. It even includes a detachable wind suppressor which can really help a lot when it's windy or when you're moving fast. Actually, the Galaxy S7 has a surprisingly good built-in microphone, but this will take your audio to another level. The Video Mic Me is really helpful for vlog style videos or interviewing people and especially in crowded areas. Here you can get an example of the sound quality with and without the microphone. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Okay, now we'll take off the mic. Now we've got the mic off and testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. I highly recommend the Video Mic Me if you're going to be recording a lot of speech and especially speech in crowded areas. It works well on lots of different phones out there including the S7 and it works great on the iPhone as well so don't be afraid to try it if you have an iPhone. Here's everything that you saw in the video. I'll add links to each item in the video description down below. Guys, remember, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, be sure and subscribe to my channel. And if you didn't enjoy this video, also subscribe to my channel. 
Thanks again for watching, and as always, aloha. Hey, what are you still doing here? The video's over. Okay, be sure and keep watching my channel because I'll be doing some tests on the camera of the Galaxy S7 Edge and comparing it against other phones like the iPhone 6S and other high-end phones. So keep watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.